Ever since Tifa was announced, all I kept hearing about was Evasion Tifa and how good that's going to be alongside Tobi. Now, she is a great partner for Tobi and she is a really good evasion unit, but I feel like that's not the only thing she can do. She's actually a really good bruiser as well. Uh, and you can either spec her as a paladin, give her saintly wall so she has, has a three hit barrier, you could give her her own monk sub job so she has courage. There's a ton of ways to make her last long. And so today that's what we'll be doing. We'll go into some arena matches as per usual and we are trying out the bruiser build today um, so we'll begin by taking a look at our team and loadout and then just go into some matches so here's the team on match one now i've tried this yesterday but we're going to adjust our team as we go so there might be some changes along the line but here's our initial setup. So Tifa has 6500 HP, 1000 attack, which is okay, 42 defense, 14 spirit. So that's acceptable, right? Uh, in terms of resistances, she's not that good. 30% to missile is going to be relevant, but only 10% against slashing. So it's not crazy physical resistances. She's really good against Earth, but targeting Earth teams would be a little bit of an overkill. We are equipping the Monk subjob for Courage if it ever procs. She is fairly evade with Tetra Sylphid and her own Vision card, but that's not the focus. As you can tell, we don't even have an Evasion Up piece of gear, so it's just a nice bonus. The enemy is going to miss us once in a while. We have Zangan style Martial Arts, just because the extra Strike Attack up is fun, but since we're using Bells, I would say that's not all necessary. We could replace it for Shadow Runner or Shikuchi. Uh, the issue is, she separates from our team way too much if we increase her mobility, so I am not giving her Shikuchi. In a manual playstyle, that would be a different reasoning. Then Holy Knight's protection is great for bruiser build, extra HP and defense, why not? And a paladin guard on top, so if it's physical attacks, it is going to take a long time before taking us down. Then we have Ninus. He's mainly there as a support. He's going to be able to reach Tifa and give her the shield deployment, which is an insanely powerful buff, uh, increasing her uh, defense over 50 and spirit in the 30s. Then Assault Field is another great ability. He's just generally a very powerful unit, able to decrease enemy defense and do a bunch of other debuffs. Uh, and then there's so many lightning teams right now that I feel like the missile resistance is going to be good against them. He has booster system so he can get to Tifa and actually buff her, and then Nightblade Mastery just because it's a great offensive boost. And then finally, there is To Be. Now, our To Be has 6000 HP, 1500 attack. That is crazy, I've never seen those numbers uh, on To Be before. Uh, 24 defense, 22 spirit, she's a little bit more of an all-rounder. Uh, she will be able to take a hit, but a second one is quite likely to get her down. Um, she will have armor deployment activated, but in this map, uh, they start really far away, so it'll probably only block one hit before running out. Uh, then she's going to use Resistance Field, which is another great way to increase her own survivability. And if she does get there, she also has the um, Iron Buddy stance to do that. So she's got several ways to increase her own tankiness. And then hopefully she's going to use Midsummer Refreshment and give herself Shell on top of the other things. Uh, so that's the team. Let's go in and see how it works. Alright, looks like we're evolving into a stronger lightning team. This one has a 120 Cloud, 9S, and Charlotte. Uh, their VCs are... Uh, pretty good as well. Uh, they do have some init hate on Charlotte, which I think is interesting. I wonder what they have did with their early turns and uh, if that init hate is going to be handy. Uh, that card also gives some extra attack to everybody, so I guess it's not a waste either way. And it has a lightning exclusive element ability. Uh, but let's just see how they go. I feel like they're going to have crazy damage with the supporting from Linus on top of a cloud with that 100% defense penetration using that. Uh, but no, because of the hate on Charlotte, Ninus goes to support their tank. So that might be a reason why they would not want initial hate on their team. Uh, but let's see what happens there. So she has some hate, that's going to be good for her. We have time to use Unparalleled Strength, which is critical for Tifa. Uh, like, the, this buff gives her her only source of defense penetration, and without that, she is not going to deal any damage to a tank like Charlotte. And yeah, you might say Charlotte is better as a magic tank, but with extra defense up from 9S, she is also a great physical tank. So our Tifa gets her own way of increasing her survivability, and then Charlotte moves in, uses Swift Punishment, and decreases our agility, which doesn't really have much of an impact. Now we have some more Slash Resist, I guess that's going to be handy, but we're all grouped, so I don't know what the enemy team has in store in terms of AoE attacks, but if Cloud gets a Barrage or 9S a Cyclonic Spear Shot, that's going to be an issue. Still. 5,000 damage on Charlotte is respectable. Ninus does move in with a Cyclonic Spear Shot, but the damage isn't all that high. 
then our own 9S uses neural hacking. Um, yeah, our 9S is not built to carry in this team, because our VCs are really more to support wind units, so it's not enough to finish her off, and then she barely survives to draw another hit from our to be. Let's see what Tifa can do. She has full AP but can't reach somehow, so just uses Courage. That's definitely not great. Uh, we take another Cyclonic Spear shot, which does take out uh, to be. So in this fight, you can tell the lack of evasion from our build is really not helping us. If we had dodged a couple hits, it would have made a pretty huge difference. Uh, Cloud procs Courage, and then Overpower finishes off Cloud, so it's the enemy 9S against 2. Even without any AP, I don't think he can win. Uh, oh, our Ninus is also out of AP, so I guess it's a basic attack fight. Uh, Bears uses stun hacking, does not get the stun, and then we fight back with a Drain Rush, which heals back the damage he just did. Uh, I think the sub-job difference is giving us a bit of an edge here. He uses Smile Practice, that's not going to be super handy either, so we'll just basic attack him. Uh, then I guess he'll run to a Crystal and try to win by turns or something. This is the weirdest fight between Ninuses that I've ever seen. Uh, ours uses hacking back, reduces them back to very low HP, and then they keep running away, use shield deployment, and I guess neither 9S manages to kill the other. Okay, well, at least we won the fight. Now I feel like this one will be interesting. They have the same level in their units with Tibi and Tifa as we have, so 115 Tifa, 120 Tibi, but theirs are built for evasion. They have uh, Sage's Hat and Evasion Gear, so they're going to be hard to hit, but if we do hit them, we might take them out in a single hit. Uh, on their side, well, they have the advantage of uh, being more evadey, but it's going to be a lot harder to kill our units. They also have a super powerful cloud with Oldoa TMR, so that might be a reason we lose. But I'm curious to see, will we lend a hit? We are not built for accuracy, but we have Ninus's Assault Field uh, to try to help us out. And then we will also have more AP on our team because of the way our TMRs are set up. So it could mean an advantage, it could not. I'm not that sure what's going to happen here. So we use Inherited Tyranny, that's good. Uh, the enemy to be will have pretty high AP with her Revitalize. And then we have Assault Field, so I can basically count three turns during which my Tifa will be accurate. Theirs uses Courage immediately, and we use Unparalleled Strength. So they have the advantage of Courage while we don't. And in an Evasion build, Courage is very impactful. Uh, let's see what happens now. So Cloud is not in range to do anything. So he just increases his own attack. Then to be also not in range, uses evasion but only on herself. So no accuracy up, uh, sorry, no evasion up on the enemy Tifa. Enemy Tifa is the first one to attack. We get one perfect evade and she hits our Tifa for half her HP. So that's a decent amount of damage. Then uh, our to be does not have the accuracy up buff. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be a miss. Nope, hits the enemy <laughs> Tifa in the face. Our Tifa procs the Courage immediately afterwards. It still took us two hits though to kill her, so I guess right now we are not getting much of an advantage. And then since our Tifa already took a hit as well, that's probably going to be a kill. No it's not, so there you go, the tank build is paying off. We kill the enemy Tifa who was not evade enough to dodge a single hit from our team, even with that evasion gear and Esper. And then let's see what our team does. We missed the enemy to be, who has Illusion. She has a lot more uh, buffs. And then Perfect evades the next attack, which was the last attack until our um, accuracy up buff wore out. So that's definitely not good. Ninus uses Armor Piercer, hits both, so that's not too bad. And then Triple Slash cannot miss, so it hits her Tifa, kills her, and now we are at a serious disadvantage. We proc our own Perfect Evade back, so I guess that's good. And then can Ninus carry? He no longer has accuracy up, so he misses the enemy to be. Our own to be cannot reach, so just generate some more armor. And then I guess we line up for a shockwave for some reason. Uh, we felt like being generous. Did not matter though, we kill the enemy to be. And um, I don't know, I mean, Cloud versus Ninus. I think most people would have picked the evasion side with Cloud more than our side with uh, Ninus if they had to bet which team would win. But it was a pretty clean victory overall. Now, I did say Bruiser Tifa was a thing. Against the Black Witch, though, I'm not so sure. Even if we were to try to build more Spirit, which is not the, ray, the way we've built ours, she'll still die in like two attacks from the Black Witch. Uh, so it's not going to be super reliable, but let's see. If we get Courage off before we uh, we meet her, we might be fine. Uh, in order for that to happen, I could turn off Revitalize or her Unparalleled Strength, make sure she gets Courage quicker, uh, but I don't... I hope that won't be necessary. 
Uh, the Black Witch often decides to go for buffs, and she's on the opposite side from Tifa. So as long as we're fighting an enemy Venera or an enemy Dwayne, I'm feeling rather confident in just how much our defense and slash resistance and a missile resist will mitigate the damage from an enemy Venera and Dwayne. Let's see, so that's a zombie <laughs> Ryu TMR uh, Black Witch. So the worst kind of Black Witch, or the best if you have that TMR. I don't, so I'm just forced to suffer for it. Enemy Venera uses Evasion up and it gets in our face immediately, but we have Accuracy up from Ninus, so I'm not expecting a miss here. Tifa uses the Somersault combo, it's only at level 10, but it still does significant damage. It is a single target attack though, so with her buff, Venera survives it pretty well. The Black Witch is still miles away from our team, but she will be coming just at the same time as Dwayne. He uses Dark and Focus, so they are also very accurate, don't expect them to miss our non-evasion build team. We armor Piercer Venera to finish her off, and then Dwayne starts closing in on our team, but he can't reach just yet. That gives Tifa time to use her second buff, but no courage still. Uh, that's really bad, because I think she'll go down to the Black Witch's attack. Nope, not in range just yet, we have a little bit more time. We reduce Dwayne's attack, but then we're grouped, so that's probably going to be Eternal Darkness right away. Nope, chooses his Limit Break, so he's gonna heal back probably to full, but let's see how much damage Dwayne does. That's pretty low damage. If he had not hit two people, that would not have killed anybody. But here comes the part where I told you our team could not survive magical attacks. I hyper carry like the Black Witch is going to kill both with that attack, I think. Yep, seven and eight thousand damage. Even if we were full HP, that would have been a kill. So I think if you're playing the Bruiser build, Tifa, you could try to go for a full spirit build, but more realistically, you should just try to target physical teams. See, Armor Crusher only did half of Tubi's HP, but then Height Base Dark is enough to finish her off, or close to, I guess she somehow survived. So we end up killing Dwayne, then lapping the Black Witch and killing her as well, but she has re-raise, so unfortunately killing her like this is not going to give us the victory. If she did not have that TMR, if it was any other TMR, we would have actually won that, uh, but not thanks to Tifa being a good bruiser. Now this one seems like a fun final match. There's a Summer LC which we're not resistant to, so that might be a bit, bit of an issue, but... Uh, this Tidus with Odin to be with Fenrir, I'm not too sure what's going on, but it for sure is going to be an interesting team comp. Uh, with that setup, I guess they have some kind of plan uh, for their units, so let's watch it in action and we'll just see how it goes. Then I definitely need to try to get more bonus points in my team, because I feel like uh, we're not getting that many. So, first things first, revitalize, that's great, into armor deployment. So we're ready to go, but all of our physical resistance is tailored towards surviving uh, not Summer Elsie. So the other guys will be fine against, but uh, her strike and magic scaling attack is not something we are good against. And she has a physical shield, she has protect. Actually, every single enemy team member except for to be has a physical shield, and then to be has her evasion, I guess, to make up for that. So it seems like a pretty solid overall start. Let's just see what happens. So Titus is not casting haste on. Um... Yeah, Titus is not casting haste on to be, which is really good. I would not want a hasted to be rushing at me, uh, but he himself is hasted, which is already pretty strong. Summer LC has defense up on top of everything else and immunity to defense down, which I don't think is going to going to impact this fight. We have Courage, clearly that's going to be useful, and then another resistance field from to be. She really wants to keep that buff up. Enemy to be has more AP than ours, but at that point we've cast enough buffs that I don't think it's going to make a big difference. We increase Tifa's defense right before we eat the Tonic Blade to the face, and uh, it doesn't really hurt that much. So far so good, uh, but that guaranteed hit from Summer Elsie is likely to finish off Vines. Maybe not though due to water resistance, and then it will proc the Courage on Tifa for sure. Nope, not even. Okay, color me impressed that Tifa was able to take that hit. Uh, uses the Barrier Breaker on the enemy, uh, and then we don't have a Barrier Breaker for to be, so she deals significantly less damage. Impaler does proc the Courage, and then thanks to Haste, Titus goes again, and has the ability to finish off Tifa. So far, this enemy team clearly has an advantage. We use Armor Piercer, take away roughly half of Tubi's HP, and then our own Tubi has time to finish her off. But, we are both in range for somewhere else to do something else, so 
uses a lot of Geo Assimilation, and you can tell she's not hitting nearly as hard on our 2B that has quite a bit of spirit, and our Ninus who is resistant to water. So we just turn back and two shot her. There we go. Um, we won, but it was a fun match. So that's it guys, I'm not saying Evasion is not a good way to go with Tifa, I'm sure she'll perform very well and I'll actually do another video showcasing her as an Evasion build, because I think she has a lot of potential that way as well. But depending on your opponent, Bruiser is the way to go. A lot of enemies have Vision cards uh, that give them accuracy up, guaranteed hits, abilities that give them extra accuracy. When you're fighting those enemies, you don't want to use an Evasion build, it's not going to cut it. Uh, and the extra survivability that you could get via some gear will be a lot better. Uh, we did lose against an enemy Black. Black Witch, but we were not built for magical survivability. This was more of a physical bruiser build. If we wanted to go for some magic survivability, we would swap these pieces of gear for like Thetis' necklace, swap the Espers for Titan, and then we would probably swap Linus for somebody with a ranged TMR so that we could increase spirit by 25 all around. And then we would be good for magical resistance, as there are ways to do that. Uh, so that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And then as per usual, guys, uh, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.